everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card using the Polly and Ivy scrapbooking stamp set. So this is the stamp set and the supplies I'm using are the deer and the sentiments on this stamp set. And then I'm using the background stamp from Holly and Ivy card making workshop. And I'm just using that big background stamp. And then I'm using papers from the Holly and Ivy collection. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna cut a piece at one and a half inches by five and a half inches. This is gonna be a landscape A2 size card. Then I'm gonna cut some evergreen cardstock at two and three quarters inches by five and a half inches. And then my zip strip at five and a half inches. Okay. Then I'm going to take the light side of toffee and I'm just cutting about three inches. I'm going to stamp my deer on this uh, paper. So it's the light side and then I'm going to stamp using mocha ink. And then I'll be cutting those out with the coordinating thin cuts. So I'm going to stamp uh, one of each of the deer. I'm going to use them both on my card front. And I'm going to do some really quick coloring. So for those of you who don't like to do a lot of coloring on your stamped images, this one's super fast and the pretty toffee color. Um, that is the color of the deer. So now I'm going to take the evergreen cardstock and I'm putting some scratch paper behind it so I, it can catch the part of the stamp that goes over the edges. And I'm going to stamp this background stamp all across this piece of evergreen. It's the dark side of evergreen and I'm using tone on tone so it's evergreen ink and I'm just going to take that pattern all the way across so I'm creating my own pattern paper with this uh, design. Just adds a little something and then I'm going to layer my deer on top of that. I didn't want a ton of pattern uh, behind my deer to, to take attention away from them, but I wanted a little something, so this works. Okay, and then I'm gonna use that pattern paper that looks like deer skin. I'm figuring out which direction it goes. I'm gonna, going to stamp my sentiment on that in candy apples. So I'm gonna stamp Christmas. I'm kind of figuring out the positioning. It's a large stamp, so I wanna make sure that I get it on there correctly. So I'll ink that up in candy apple ink and stamp Christmas. And then because the word Mary is not gonna quite fit, I'm gonna create a banner and then I can overlap it uh, using foam tape. So I'm gonna use the dark side of candy apple and I'm gonna stamp the word Mary in evergreen. And then I'll create a little banner to put up in that corner above the Christmas sentiment. So I'll just trim that out. I'm not using any particular sizes. I'm just trimming around the Im image and then I'll dovetail it by hand. I'm just stip snip in the center and take each corner to meet that snip. You're going to get your little triangle cut out and then I'm just going to hand cut the other side. So we'll get that in there. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my tri blend markers and since this is super quick, I'm just going to keep it in the video. So I'm just coloring. I'm not doing any shading because these are teensy tiny little bits to color. So I'm just going to color the holly that's around the deer in just one color and then I'm going to add the red but you'll see at the end of the video, I changed that up. So hang in there, you'll see what I do. So I'm gonna cut each of these out using the coordinating thin cuts and run them through my Big Shot. Super easy. Just run that through. This is a great design if you have a lot of cards to make. All right, so I have an A2 card base. It's four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is gonna be landscape. So I'm just gonna put everything down using Tombow. So the evergreen stamped piece is gonna go on the bottom where the opening is. And then 
the pattern paper is going to go above it. And then I'll layer the zip strip on top over that seam. Okay, and my sentiment, Mary, is going to get popped with foam tape. And it kind of goes a little bit over the sea, but it works. And then I'll pop both of the deer as well. We'll get those down and then to add a little something more I'm going to bring in some of the die cuts they're the holly and ivy die cuts and they come in a kind of a textured evergreen color uh, and um, some red glitter I've got a couple bits of ivy and I'm just putting them down with foam tape or with a Tombow tape runner and I had to trim up one of the holly leaves so it would fit that's okay, just snip, snip where you need to, can't tell. And then I'm adding a clear sparkle to the center. And then I decided to bring in some liquid pearls to add a little extra dimension to those holly berries. There's my finished card. So I appreciate you watching my video today. I'll make a list of all the supplies I used with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.